Hello, everybody. We are back in Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. I couldn't get Drake to look at the, uh, camera, so you're just gonna have to live without the, uh, normal sort of intro. This is super intricate. Are clearly not built to code. Sure they are. The pirate code. <laughs> not bad. Thank you. That was pretty that was a pretty good joke. Yeah. Drake has got to be in his like 40s. So did two build this place with Avery? This is a uh, can't make sense of. Good effort. Uh, neither can I. I mean, if Avery's trying to hide his treasure, why involve another pirate? Uh, maybe he saw him as a part of his crew. Maybe he sent him one of those St. Dismas crosses. Jesus, look at that yeah, ass mark. Maybe two took all the treasure for himself. Maybe. Please don't say that. We're going to find out soon enough. Well, we're certainly going to find out. One way or another. Da -da, da -da -da. Ooh, look at that. Oops. You think? Uh, at least we didn't get dropped in a pit or something. <laughs> this is elaborate. Yeah, this for is pirates. Oh. Switch. I'm just gonna take the hand out. Oh. Pretty elaborate test? Trial? Yeah. And this guy clearly failed. <laughs> Let's do better. No kidding. There's something on the bottom there. It's a bucket. Huh. Okay. Excuse me. Now I what? I need to fill my bucket. Ah. Cold water. I pass it up to me. From where? Oh. This would be pretty hard to do alone. I'll put it back in that big wheel thingy. Alrighty. And I will come over here. Could you imagine if you were only Nathan Drake's height? It'd be kinda hard to fill that bucket unless you had like a rope. To pull it up. Oh. Alright, let's see what these wheels do. Alrighty. Okay, I think I see what's going on here. Is something with the three crosses? Yep. Yeah. I'm guessing we're looking at Jesus, our good thief Dismas, and the jerk thief Gestus. I'm gonna figure the white cross is Dismas, so the black one is Gestus. Let's turn this this way. And actually do it again. Come over here. Place the bucket on top. Check it out. Something up there moved when you put the bucket on top. Yes. A channel running from the mechanism to the door. Okay. This puzzle isn't hard. <laughs> Keep it there. Okay, that's got to be it. Yes. Let's find out. Certainly. Well, I'm going to die. <laughs> I would just jump back as fast as I could. He kind of just stood there. I would, I would pull and fall back. At most, I'd probably lose some ankle. Aha! Shishkinates. So if that was a test, what do you suppose it was testing exactly? Filling a bucket? Ah! I got a trophy. It's amazing. My 
bet Avery and all of his crew were intimately familiar with. <laughs> Reaching to that thing felt like, jeez. Maybe it's not the only one. <sighs> I didn't need to do that. I wanted to. <laughs> I forget how a couple of the levels are just super long. Like, wait until we get to Matt. Uh, no, I'm not going to spoil it. Wait until we get to the next place. <laughs> wait until we get to math. <laughs> hey, come here. I'll boost you up there. Coming. Or is it my turn to be boosted? I'm guessing we need to get up to that broken bridge. I should hope so. Uh, that's got to that's got to feel awful when he yes. steps onto Nate's hand like that with his wet boot. How do I? I think I know how to get there. Thank you, brother. Am I going the right way? No. Up here. Ha <laughs> Climb. Follow you wit oh. He already, he just leapt over, didn't he? Where did he go? Yeah. Up and up and over. I think he's in that hole. Oh, there he is. I imagine it was easier when all the bridges and walkways weren't broken. I guess we're a couple hundred years late. Oh yeah. You're doing the extra hard challenge. All right, crawling. There's a low ceiling here. Watch it. Ow. Watch my ah. God damn it. <laughs> See some light through here. Oh good. Ah, catacombs. Yeah, that makes sense. We're under a cathedral. Hey, hey look, a big ass rat. See the way. Oh, hey, I think we're in a uh, cutscene territory. Listen, no new finds to report. Anything noteworthy by the dormitories? Not unless you count some cleverly worded headstones. Have you finished digging by the chapter house? Oh. We have, ma'am. The northwest sites are wide open as well. And what about the southern perimeter? Not yet. It'll take us a day to move the crane over there. Nadine. A whole Thank day. You. In the meantime, see what you can dig up about it. I'll send a couple of men over right away. Good. Rafe, any luck with those manuscripts? We have a minute. Keep me updated. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm paying for your army. It should be under my control. <laughs> Is that going to be the gist of this? They found a whole annexed area under the cathedral. I did. Have you seen it? No. Why? Because there wasn't much left after they'd finished finding it. My men have been a bit liberal with they the guy. like a hundred well-armed bulls in a china shop. But they've made more progress in two days than we've made in months. Progress. should just use your money to buy a big drill. I'll let them know they need to give you a heads up before they do anything drastic. Or you can tell them to sit tight until I analyze the few clues that haven't been blown up. No, we can't sit around waiting any longer. All due respect, I think I have a bit more experience with this sort of thing than you do. We tried things your way. Bullshit. You've been wanting to level this place ever since we got here. No! I wanted to steal that cross long before it ever even made it to that auction. The same auction where I couldn't have my men around to deal with any surprises. The auction was the cleanest way but to get the cross. But instead of going with my gut, I listened to you. And now we have competition. Oh, well, I didn't think he'd show up. You didn't, didn't think Nathan Drake would show up. <laughs> Why the hell would I do that? Because you think you need him. Maybe you do. Point is... 
I'm done trying to do things the clean way. If the treasure is here, we'll find it. Under not, some rubble. <laughs> You'll find it under some rubble. Because you're going to we'll be blow up there. everything. Hey. It's not personal. It's a little personal to him. I'll let you know if anything turns up. <laughs> you know, seeing as he spent all of that money. <laughs> Let's get moving before they blow that treasure to bits. Mom and Dad are uh, <laughs> wait, really upset. She was right though. But what? About Rafe wanted to draw you out. As long as he doesn't get the upper hand, who cares? Doesn't matter. I agree. <laughs> what annexed area you suppose they were talking about? It's got to be some side chamber because we're the only ones here. It's the chamber with all the gold. You know, the gold chamber. See what happens when you let people blow things up. Oh, I don't think I've ever gotten this one before. Neat. What is that? Oh, a pewter box. Okay. Just looked like it was glass and had something in it. All right. Wee. All right. I remember that there's a treasure up there, and I don't think I've ever gotten it before. So, uh, buddy. Uh, a little too high to jump up there, unless you got a trampoline. <laughs> Left it in my backyard. Oh, Don. Wait, do you, do you have a trampoline? I wish. <laughs> I think we need kids for a trampoline. Just to have the... Well, I mean, nowadays, any excuse to have a trampoline, right? <laughs> Used to be you probably wanted children to have a trampoline. Otherwise, it's kind of creepy. Hang on. Oh, look at you. One crate coming up. Thank you, good sir. That crate did not fall that way. Also, here you are, good madam. Haha! <laughs> Take that, brother. Well, we're definitely getting closer to the cathedral. <laughs> Come on. Down, down, down. Got it! Ooh, what the hell is that? Is that a clock? It's a memento mori. Skull watch. It's a watch. How big is this watch? My goodness. Sam, you're the worst. Just stand in front of me like that. Okay. You gotta say, this is far more sophisticated than I was expecting. <laughs> me too. Must have taken years to build. Here goes nothing. Uh. Don't slide, don't slide. You're not heavier than the crate. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Crate's heavy. What's the plan? I'm working on it. Uh. Uh. Can't can't move the crate. Can our ropes onto this. Yeah, that that definitely felt like that. Just saying. Push. Push. <laughs> There's no way it's getting over here like this, but push. Uh-oh. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. That was a good move. Gotta admit that. Who needs bridges? Uh, uh, no, I, I wouldn't mind bridges, per se. Yeah, but the bridges are, you know, a couple hundred years old, made of wood. Probably a bit folly a party. Well, can't go through there. So how do we get through? Um, through here. Over here. Look at that. It's 
place wasn't completely falling apart, we'd probably be trapped again. Hey, look around you. Uh -huh. Holy crap. This must have been another test, but all just crumbled into the ocean. Well, I guess the test now is how the hell do we get to the other side? Uh carefully, I imagine. Very very carefully. <laughs> Uh, let it be known that I, Thomas Howard, captain of the Dauntless, am a gullible fool. I, I, it started with the cross, a cryptic message from my old compatriot, with a vague promise of paradise. I was skeptical, but the thought of living the remainder of my days at home, wondering what might have been, was too much to bear. And one does not ignore a letter from the King of Pirates. I managed to... Uh, I survived being marooned off the coast of Madagascar. I survived the attack off East uh, Indiamen. Pembroke, but I will not survive this. My leg is broken, my crew too cowardly to set foot in these damned caverns. Cannot hear my calls for help. Uh, who would have imagined my deeds would bring me here uh, to die an ig ignoble death uh, so far from home? May God himself curse you, Henry Avery, and may my ghost haunt the rest of your days. That's grim. Almost looks like he, uh, there's a big hole in his head. Almost looks like he blew his head off just to get it over with so he wouldn't starve to death. That really safe looking wooden seesaw thing might do the trick. <laughs> Worth a shot. You know, just because you said it was really safe, uh, it now is not. Well, here goes nothing. Whoa, whoa. Oh ho stop. You won't make it. You're too low. All right, fine. I'll weigh it down. Go. Going, 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 going. Made it. All right. Here we go. What about me? We'll figure it out. Give me a sec. Okay, I found something to weigh down the seesaw. Yes, a big metal crate on wheels. <laughs> Who would have guessed that these wheels would be on here? Than I am. I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there we go. Uh. Hey, nice air time. Oh, crap. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Ah, ah, ah. Well, hi, brother. <laughs> Thanks for the catch. There's another test down. At this point, I'd rather take another death trap. At this point, I hope we're at the end of this thing. If I remember right, we're close. You know, not that we're going to have it in this episode anyways. Decorate a treasure burial site, or build elaborate tests. And either we're missing something, or Avery was really, really bored. This is interesting for bored. All right, everybody. Uh, this is where I'm going to end the episode. So I will see you guys in the next.